Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. First John 3, verse 2. This is the New Living Version. Dear friends, we are already God's children, but He has not yet shown us what we will be like when Christ appears. But we do know that we will be like Him, for we will see Him as He really is. I would like to welcome you all to the Money Church of God, those who are in the house of the Lord, those who are online streaming through Facebook or YouTube. I welcome you today to our special Sunday service under the theme, Stand Up, Stand Out, Protect the Rights of Children. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. And so I'm inviting those who are in the house of the Lord to stand at this time as we prepare our hearts for worship. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come in. Yeah. 
We thank you, God, that you do live in you and you have a word in you. As you come this morning, God, we come before you and our righteous blessings and spirit to God. So you, oh God, are our cleansing. And so we look to you for cleansing. We look to you, God, that you wash our minds, our hearts, our entire being. Because, oh God, that our lives will bring you glory and honor. Oh God, we ask that you move by your spirit today and that you ignite your people and you sanctify us, God, and you make us whole. As we come, we want our praises to be accepted to you. And so, God, we ask that you deliver everything that will kill up our worship and our praises from coming up to you. I pray, God, that you set us on our heart today. I pray, God, that you pour out your anointing upon us in a special way. Move by your spirit today, God, and as we give you the glory, we pray, God, that you continue to bless us because indeed you are our all. Take hope and our love. Bless this time of worship. Bless our heart as we have today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Oh, far don't you love Jesus, brethren? That's the Lord. That's the Lord. Hallelujah. And so, we'll be singing this song. Blessings and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Blessings and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days.
If you are children of God, say, I am a children, I am a child of God. Amen. 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 Oh, oh. So at this time, we open with our hymn 660, Jesus bids us shine. Him 660, Jesus in the shadow. Sister Russia will be seen. Jesus bids us shine with the pure clear light, like a little candle. Luke 2, verse 42 to 
50. Luke 2, verse 42 to 50. And this will be read by Anthony Johnson. And when he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the cut song of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Jesus. Let's give a round of applause for him. Bless the Lord. Amen. And I want to greet 
leaders who are here today, Elder Stuart Mutravio, Evangelist Bloomfield, Minister Young, Minister Adams, Minister Monroe. So glad that you are in the house of the Lord today. Reverend French is unavoidably absent. She's attending to her father who is in the hospital. Reverend Joy also has another engagement and not able to be here today. But we continue to pray for our leaders and continue to encourage them as they continue to do the work of the Lord. We also want to acknowledge Deacon Carter in the house of the Lord. Let's give a praise for him this morning. Bless the Lord. Amen. And all of our brothers and sisters in Christ, our ushers, our musicians, praise God. And all the children, we're glad to see you. Let's give a big round of applause for all the children today. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. And some of you, we don't see you every week, but we are encouraging you to keep coming. Amen? Amen? Bless the Lord. It's always good to, you know, give yourself to the Lord. Like David, he says he will delight himself in the Lord. And I want to encourage you to do so as well. Sometimes you don't see your parents coming, so it's a little discouraging for you alone to come. But I want to encourage you. Keep coming, and you watch them come after you. Amen? Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise God. And we see all the children coming in. Thank you so much today for coming out to the Lord's house. Praise God. We want to greet our community friends. Miss Andrea, good to see you again. And we continue to pray your strength. We are glad to see you, Sister Nicola, as you are, you know, making that step towards righteousness. And indeed, God will favor you and help you as you call on him. Praise God. So welcome to one, welcome to all, especially those who are online. We are glad that you have joined the service. Those who will watch the, the, the broadcast later, we are thankful for that. God bless you today. And we have a number of prayer requests, and I want to make note of them. And as the day progress, let us remember these requests and continue to pray for our brothers and sisters as the Lord expects us to. So Sister Winston is not feeling well and she's asked for prayer. Evangelist Bloomfield is asking for prayer. She will be traveling um, to Antigua on Thursday. Bless the Lord. And we want to pray for her safe journey, mercies, and we trust that she will have a good time. Amen? Bless the Lord. And come back with good report. Praise God. Tell us how Antigua stayed. I've been there enough, so you come and tell me if you it match up to what I experienced. Shall we bless the Lord? Amen. Amen. And the British Town Youth in Action, they are having their sports day coming up, I think, this Saturday. They are asking for prayer. We ask that the Lord will really cover our children in the community, give them a peaceful day, and that they will compete, and everyone will do their best, and they will continue to, you know, just grow and become better persons, better community members, better citizens of Jamaica, and make an impact wherever they are. Praise God. Brother Bennett is also asking for prayer for his son, and I don't know what the situation is, but God is a deliverer. And I believe, Brother Bennett, as you have asked for prayer, God will honor your request today. Shall we bless the Lord? Amen. God is indeed a faithful God. We have a number of external invitations. They are posted at the back, but I'll just highlight them quickly. The Calvary Evangelistic Church of God will be having their convention on May the 26th to the 28th. They are looking forward to seeing us, the men and women um, convention. It is a youth. It's a combined convention. So the women will be on the Sunday, men on the Monday, and the youth on the Tuesday. Praise God. Then the House of God Church at 46 Alexander Road, they are having seven nights of tent, tent revival from May the 27th to June the 2nd, and they are looking forward to our support. Faith Temple Apostolic Assembly at 29 7th Street, that's down the road from us, they are having their holy convocation and banquet from May the 29th to June the 2nd, and the banquet will be on the 1st of June, and uh, the contribution is 8,500. The banquet will be held at the Jamaica Youth um, Conference Center, and the other services will be held at the church. Praise God. Then the Heart of God Ministries International, Gutters Olabo St. Catherine, they are in their second women's convention on June the 8th at 4 p.m., and on the 9th, 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. 
Of course, we are looking forward to our support. So those are our main external invitations. If there's any other, you'll hear them as the time progress. And we encourage you to continue to pray towards our upcoming events. And we continue to trust God that they will indeed be a success. The services continues for this week. Tomorrow we'll be in fasting. Thursday night will be Thursday will be Labor Day, I think it is. But hopefully we will have Bible study online, so you can join in that. Once it once it's possible, I will send out the link, and you can join accordingly. God bless you. Those are our announcements for this week. And if there's any other, you'll hear them as the week progresses. God bless you. So I'm back to our moderator in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. So at this time, I'll call Anthony Johnson again to give you guys another welcome. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's a joy to welcome you all to our children's service today. Our theme is a powerful one reminder. Good morning. 
It's still a bad word. It's still a bad word this week. I tell you, I answer so long. You can't talk to a bad word. You tell me to say this so. You might tell me so that I go make that word as far.
after we sleep and we put the moon in the cream. And Mugo, that same night, the next day, um, which is yesterday, I went to a little jam station thing, like a little cancer thing, where somebody that came and I decided to go. Because that is said of being in some lazy state, so we need to come out of that So when we did it and everything done now, I'm ready to go home. You see why you and you say something for my finger. I'm saying, what do you think? I'm saying, oh, you need to tell him, oh. And I'm saying, oh, I'm saying, oh, look at him too, damn, I want to keep, I'm saying, what do you do? He'll say, I'm asking, but I'll do this, you know. And he said, he did have a big chair spying food. And when it happened, he would push out and think, he would push out. But now, if he did it, 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 it better so they take us so they can So I just said, me, no. He said, no, he push out. So I said, my situation could have been worse. Because yeah. yeah. if I feel he would push out, it, and say, the only way the cast of will come out and do the search. I mean, for the lifting thing. We as men, we don't like that type of, we don't like search and lifting. Let it understand me. And so if they have said, my situation could have been worse. No, no, no. to the point to me, I make no. When we say, but we did not really go by me, we did some my laziness, and we get the words in. God, to all my reading, I said, God has been merciful to all me. Because the more that things we do, even though we did naive and whatever, but we still and just did it because the Bible said, my people will perish because of lack of knowledge. So that is why we need to strengthen our sword, read the Bible, and do these things. Can we get the word and say, God has been merciful to us? And the dead, and we get it all. When we are reading the scripture, you know, but the Bible is never that to know that still. But, because big men don't cry. But, but, one of the understand say, God has been merciful. I don't fear take advantage of God's mercy. Don't take advantage of God's mercy. Because, at the end of the year, that so come back and we don't want we don't want to experience that wrath mm -hmm. uh, so I think I will just try to be good from now because yeah. this world is dying this yeah. world is yeah. we will soon pass on yeah. so I, we don't have much time we need to stop those who do no, so we can inherit the kingdom of God Amen yeah. yeah. That is my testimony. So at this time, we have a poem by Shazier Cars. Children live what they learn. Give him hand to encourage him. Because 
when you surround yourself with certain things, when you live with that, and that you have to be coming up. Yeah, yeah. The environment, that's why I'm for part with people where we feel you know, uplift you know, we a better person. So you as children over here, make sure you know, stay on the right path and do not keep up bad company. Because you reap where you sow. At this time, we'll have a group song. Oh, at this time, we'll collect the days and times and offering. And we'll ask, we'll ask Rajay Williams to come and pray for the offering. Wow. 
Jesus was blessed and also his parents were blessed. And at that same time, there was another prophet in the temple, Anna, who was a woman who never stopped praying, she never stopped fasting, she never stopped worshiping. She stayed in the temple day and night. And so, the word of God said Jesus' parents fulfilled all the requirements of the law of the Lord and Jesus grew up healthy and strong and was filled with wisdom and God's favor was on him. You can read that part in your own time. And so at verse 41, we see where Jesus and his family traveled to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. And this festival was a celebration and remembrance of how the Israelites were led out of slavery, led out of Egypt by Moses. And Jesus was 12 years old at this time. And in those days, Jewish men were required to attend these religious celebrations surrounding the feast of the Passover. So after the celebration had ended, sorry, and they started home, Jesus stayed behind. His parents didn't miss him at first because they thought he was among the other travelers. When his parents, Joseph and Mary, didn't see him in the evening, they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. They couldn't find him there, but they found him three days later in the temple. Jesus was at the age where he was becoming. This is the age where most young people begin to find themselves, find their likes, find their dislikes, find their passions, and this is the age where most, if not all, most of the most children know what they want to become in the future. And in Jamaica, this is the age where most children complete the PEP exam, formerly known as the GSAT exam, and start high school. And so it is significant that his parents found him in the temple at 12 years old. It must have been frustrating for Mary and Joseph to be looking for Jesus for three whole days. But he was in the temple and the scripture said he was sitting among religious teachers. He was listening to them and he was asking questions. All who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. So while everyone around was amazed at Jesus' understanding, his parents were worried about his whereabouts. And of course, it would have been difficult for them to understand. As a child, the four things that Jesus was found. No, as a, yes, at, at 12 years old, it is significant that Jesus sought out teachers in his midst. He listened. He asked questions and he also gave answers. Some of us, even adults, we don't try to associate ourselves with the right company to learn, to grow, and to be impacted by those who are wise. What stood out to me is that not only did Jesus ask questions, but the fact that he had answers meant that he was also questioned and had impactful responses. He sat among great men. And so verse 48 says, And when they saw him, they, meaning his parents, saw him, they were amazed that his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that he sought me? Wist he not? that I must be above my father's business. He was basically saying, don't you know that I must be above my father's business? Don't you know that I have kingdom work to be doing? At the age of 12, Jesus was not found playing. He wasn't found idling. He wasn't found in a shop. He wasn't found in a bakery. He wasn't found playing games. He was found in the temple, learning of the things of God and building on his knowledge of the things of God. He knew his earthly father, Joseph, but he also knew and had a relationship with his heavenly father and was aware that what God requires of him supersedes everything and everyone. 
he was aware of what his divine nature and calling was. This passage of scripture represents Jesus' unique sonship to God and that the mission as children of God requires devotion to God's purpose and by extension, his plans for our lives. God's purpose takes precedence over our closest family ties and we must follow our calling even if it brings pain and misunderstanding to those around us or those close to us. Jesus was not afraid to speak out to his parents, respectfully of course. He was not ashamed, he was bold and he was firm. And after his response, the scripture said, Mary kept these things in her heart. They didn't understand what Jesus meant or what was happening. But I am sure that as Jesus grew, they saw and they understood. Because the scripture said, the last scripture in this chapter said, Jesus grew, Jesus increased in wisdom, stature, and in the favor of God and the man. So he grew in wisdom, meaning he grew educationally and with the knowledge of God. He grew in that aspect. He grew physical growth, his stature. He grew with the favor of God, meaning spiritual growth. And he grew in favor of all people, which is the social growth. So to the children, I am not telling you to leave without your parents knowing. Or you go somewhere with your parents and you don't let them know where you are going. But what I am saying to you today is, associate yourself with the right company. Find the right friends. As Brother Rekar said, far with people where we uplift you and build you. Bless the Lord. We all have a voice and you must determine what you will use your voice to do. Will you use your voice to trouble people or will you use your voice to worship God? Will you use your voice to sing praises to God? Will you use your voice to tell someone that God is good? Will you use your voice to make impact in this world? As young people, I am imploring you to also find your place in society. Be a positive change. Be that positive change that Jamaica needs. And stand up for what is right, even if you are standing alone. Repeat after me. Stand up for what is right. Even if you are standing alone. Yes. Do not despise your youth, but be a great example to your friends, to your family, to all those who are around you. Find your purpose in this life and do the will of your father. Sometimes your friends and even your parents won't understand, but God understands. And the beauty about it is that you can talk to him at any time and at any place. But like Jesus, stand out. Stand up for the Lord. Associate yourself with the right company. Be the difference so that you can grow in knowledge and wisdom just as Jesus did. These are my few words in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Special prayer. We want to invite you to come 
as we believe God and believe God for those who have asked for prayer as well, that he will do what is what we have asked of him. And there's nothing impossible with God. Amen. And so we lift our prayer to him and we believe that by faith he will answer. Amen. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What we Your God, you are your all in all, and we 
declare, Lord, that no weapon that the enemy form against them, those weapons will never prosper. And we declare that they are covered today under the blood of Jesus. We declare that they will grow in your strength. They will grow in your knowledge. They will stick to your truth. And they will be a force to reckon with. Some mighty coverage today, Lord. Protect them from sickness. Protect them from danger. Protect them, O oh God, cause that their knowledge will be increased. And that their, O oh God, will be, O oh God, an example wherever you place them. Let them be leaders, Lord, because they are the head and not the tail. Cause them, O oh God, to be lenders and not borrowers. Cause them to grow and to be above and not be beneath. And we declare your favor over these children's life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, cover the congregation today. Every adult in our midst today. Every young adult who have not come to the altar. Young people in our midst today. We place them before you, mighty God. And we ask that you do a mighty work in your people's life today. Prove yourself, Lord, that you are their God. And help them, oh God, to trust you. Amidst everything that comes their way, help them to trust you. Help them to be an example to these younger children. And that God may continue to show them the way and encourage them in your paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Cover everyone today. For those who have asked for prayer today, Sister Winsome, whatever the situation is, oh God, minister healing today. Minister your touch upon her body in the name of Jesus. And prove yourself, Lord, that you are her healer, her deliverer, and you are her strength. I declare healing upon her today. In Jesus' name. I pray for you to this blue field as she travels this week. Lord, let your presence go with her. Keep her safe, mighty God, and bring her back safely to us. I pray, God, that she'll have a good time of rest and enjoyment. And that God, even in this season, she'll be able to tell someone about you. We declare it today in the powerful name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the young people today of the British Town Youth in Action. That God, you'll cause them, oh God, that they will... Have a good time in your sports day. I pray, God, that you will cause them to compete, oh God, fairly. And that you keep them safe. Protect them from danger. Protect them from accidents. Oh God, and even in this season, trouble their very hearts and their minds. Help them to come to surrender to you now before time changes into eternity. Let this sports day be one that will not be ordinary, but that your very presence will be there to show up, God, and to do a mighty miracle among these young children. I pray that they'll be an example, oh God, to this community and wherever they are. And I pray, God, for your blood coverage over them today. Keep the community safe, mighty God. Grant peace upon every street and upon every child and upon every young people today. In the name of Jesus. And we declare the British town community youths blessed and covered under the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We also pray for Brother Bennett's son today. Lord, we know that Brother Bennett's heart is troubled today. But we pray for your peace upon this young man's heart and upon his life. And I pray, God, that he will come to know you before time changes into eternity. I pray that salvation will visit him today. I pray that you work upon his conscience and upon his heart today. And help him to come to know you, Lord, because you are worthy to be praised. I pray that you cause him to accept the forgiveness that his father has extended to him. And help him to see himself today and to realize where he has gone wrong and to come to the realization where he needs you now more than ever. Bless your people today, Lord. Even for the refreshment that you will share to the children today, we ask that you sanctify it and consecrate it and make it a blessing to these children. And I pray, God, that as we will go from this place to our different homes, that your presence will go before us. Keep us safe and bless us, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray a special prayer upon Brother Rekha as he has led through the service today. Father, as he goes through injury to his finger, I pray for healing and deliverance. I pray even as he continues to sit his exams that God will be with him and cause him to be so.
successful. Father, cause that his results will be supernatural. Oh God, that he will be able to give you all the praise and all the glory. Cover him under your blood. Cover Brother Rajay also, Lord, as he plays the drums today. And I pray, Lord, that your blessings will be upon your people and that we continue to keep our eyes on you as we go through this week. Father, as we come to Labor Day this week, I pray, God, that all the activities, oh God, that will be done, will be glory, bring glory to your name and honor to you. And may whatever we do, oh God, that we will do it us unto the Lord. Have your way now, Lord, as we thank you for this week and say thanks for all that you do in Jesus' name. Everybody say, Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance and give you peace. God bless you today. Have a good rest of the day. And may you all enjoy your refreshment. In Jesus' name, amen.